Thank you. Welcome back here. I've got a young couple young guests. I'll introduce those in a minute, but I'm going to introduce Michelle Fallow. Fallow, yep. You're Michelle. with the uh, Young Chefs Academy. That is correct. Now, what is right. the Young Chefs Academy? I, I know what it is, but let's tell our viewers out there. Okay, well, it's a cooking school for kids. We do kids of all ages. We do parties. We do camps. We also have some adult cooking events that we've been uh, working with some adults lately. That's a lot of fun because the adults, they get in the kitchen too, and sometimes they're kind of like the kids. And <laughs> Don't really know what they're fun. doing. But yeah. you, 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 what, I, what I saw on, on cause Kevin's daughter had her birthday party. She did. What a yeah. great way to do a birthday party. I mean, the kids looked like they were having so much fun. Right. Well, for our parties, we're a little bit different. We're, parents come to us. They're looking for something different. They get tired of um, possibly just messes in their house or kids running all over the place. So they come to us and they uh, get to learn something fun and they get their hands in there and they get to have a good time while they're doing it. Now this is uh, Carmen, is that right? What was your name again? My name's Cameron. Cameron. I'm not going to get that one over there either. And this is... Uh, Aziza. Aziza. Okay. And uh, now how did you find out about uh, this? Well, my friend was looking in the newspaper and found the ad or she cut it out and she gave it to me and it had the address. Because you want to be a what when you grow up? I want to be a professional chef. Yeah, so well, if you're starting that off, do you cook at home a little bit now? Yeah, I cook a lot at home. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you, you're pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, and you're going to be making what today? Making avocado and chicken salad. Yeah, did you bring your your, your good students? Is that what it is? Oh, they're they're my best. Yeah. Students. They're my top chefs. Now, they I are. didn't ask you, are you, what are you, are you looking to, just learn how to cook for that man in your life when he comes along, or <laughs> no? <laughs> or do you want to be a professional chef? I want to be a professional chef. <laughs> okay. And yet, now you've already chopped up the chicken because Kevin told me they use plastic, and you guys are out here with real blades. So I'm gonna, uh, okay. I'm gonna keep my. I just wanted up. to make you feel comfortable. <laughs> that's all. Kevin saw us using the green safety knives. I think that's what you're referring yeah, to. Yeah. So these guys are my top chefs. They're of age. They've had enough so training, they, they, they and they can, can actually use cut the everything chef's else. Knives. They've had enough training with me that I feel comfortable. I trust them. Okay. Now, yeah, how, how do we start this? Time. I'm gonna have you guys go. Just go ahead. What are you gonna got to do first here? Well, first I'm going to chop up this chicken and I'm going to add it in that bowl. And we're going to measure out the rice and the mayonnaise and put it in the bowl too. And he's going to chop up the avocado. Yeah, so we're going to see some chop. Well, let's, let's see how good you are with that knife. So you got some of the chicken chopped up, but how, how much do you want to chop it up? Um, in bite sized pieces. Yeah, okay. Well, let's chop up some chicken. Let me see you work that knife. Have you cut off a finger yet? No. Because uh, you wear, because you wear, well, you're wearing gloves. I was just wondering, you know, if you're missing one underneath there or not. So. Just in case. <laughs> well, that's I never thought of that. You know, uh, just put a pair of gloves on when you're doing it. It's definitely going to help when you have that little nick or something. Well, these are actually made with Kevlar from Dupont. They're made to be, they're designed to be safety gloves and to protect their fingers. Yeah. So I don't know if just like a any old glove would work. But yeah. So these Kevlar. are specially they are carbon gloves. Yeah. Yes, okay. They now are. go ahead and do what you got to do, and and while you while you're doing that. Uh, yeah, Michelle, because you've yeah. got a, a, can, a, a camp, uh -huh. can I cook? Uh -huh. We up. have culinary camps coming up through the summer, June through August. We'll run them every week. They are half-day camps. Kids come to us, and we make anywhere from uh, four to six recipes each day. And they learn all kinds of skills from, like, what Aziza is doing now, and all different kinds of recipes. We do... Um, Anything from salads to soups to homemade breads, lots of desserts, homemade yeah. pastas. So you do quite a bit of, of uh, just about everything. Just really. about everything. Yeah, what, yeah. What's your favorite thing to cook? My favorite thing to cook it that I make at home is I usually make shrimp and scallops. Oh, yeah? You got some pasta to go with that or just shrimp and scallops? Yeah, I have to, you, you have to come up and cook for me one day. <laughs> yeah, I'll hire you as my chef. Now, what do we got to do? Put them in, put it, put that in the bowl. Well, after I finish chopping. Them. Okay, you got a lot more to chop then, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, chop away then. What do you, well, I can go he, ahead and get you started. Yeah, too, he's gonna work on gotta, his avocado. You've got to get the avocado, and uh, you know you already got one that's cut. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you're just going to demonstrate that. Yes, this <laughs> is our demonstrating. Plus, we do need two avocados for the recipe. Now, that's a smart way. That's something I just learned right there from watching you. If I can't get it started, just stick the knife in it to get just yep. like you would cut wood. I never thought about that. Yep. And then oh, take your knife out of your hand. Oh, very good. 
Yeah. Then Safety gonna, first, right? Yep. Scoop that. Now, do you know where an avocado comes from, Tim? Uh, I know they grow them out in California, I guess. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's the where. Um, the plant, I mean, it comes from an avocado tree. So technically we could use that to uh, get an avocado seedling started. Oh, you could actually plant that? Yeah, there. we could use that. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Will they grow around here, you think? Uh, probably not because of our climate so we or can't winter. Use it for anything. Right, right. Unless you we... do want to scoop your seed out of there first. Get that seed out. The pit. And the way that you can tell if an avocado is soft is you just kind of give it a nice little push. You kind of push, and, and if it gives, if it ripe, gives it's go. ripe. Yeah, the avocado will not start ripening, ripening until it's actually been picked off the tree. Yeah, and then it takes a little while to ripen. You can put it in a brown bag that helps to ripen it faster. If you want to stop the ripening process because you don't want to use it right away, stick it in the fridge. So no, you can make a, a you know a guacamole for right, the avocado. Getting, That's what a lot of people right. know of it. Now this is a once again this is a chicken avocado salad. Yep, it's an yeah. avocado chicken salad. It's a nice summery kind of lunch. It's great for, um, you know, it, it can be if something you If you don't quit chopping, we're going to run out of time. You realize that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's big enough. Yeah, Kevin I think that's eat big, pretty good. Eat big pieces, too. So we'll get you to put that in a bowl so we can get this thing underway here. Yep. Now. So we just need Aziza to go ahead and finish that up. She'll get the rice in there and the mayonnaise and get that mixed while okay. Cameron's going to dice his avocado there. Uh, we have some fresh parsley we need to chop up. Cameron's going to show us his nice um, knife skills when we get to that parsley. And we just need a little bit of salt and pepper so Aziza can finish. Yeah, it's pretty simple meal to cook, really. There. Oh, yeah. 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 There's no really no cooking. I guess avocados, don't you don't cook them. You just no. Mm -mm. Them the only open. thing that you would have to do is bake your chicken, get your chicken cooked. Yeah. Yeah, and your rice. The rice, we did that before the show so that we could have that all ready. And uh, the, once again, the Young, uh, Young Chefs Academy located, because it's uh, centrally located here in Wilmington, really, when you, when you think about right. Newcastle County, up on Route 7, I believe. Yep, Limestone Road next to Goldie Beacom. It's easy access. It's right on the highway, Limestone Road. And uh, a lot of things for kids. I mean, uh, this time of year, I always say, you know, get them involved with something so you know and right. we've got about a minute left the schools are all going to start when right it's going to start in june the nice thing about our program uh it starts like the third week of june but there are half days so kids can come to us 9 to 12 in the morning and then go to the pool in the afternoon so you got a nice full day of activity instead of sitting home and sitting on the couch now do you do a lot of cooking at home too yes yeah, yeah. Who, who likes your food mom <laughs> dad yeah. everybody yeah, yeah. yeah. all yeah. right yeah Man, I, I, I now I know why you sent your kid there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know your wife can't cook, so we, we, <laughs> <laughs> I've known her too long. For more information on the Young Chefs Academy, <laughs> www.youngchefsacademy.com. It's that simple. That's it. And, and Michelle, we're going to let them keep on cooking. We got to take yep. a quick commercial break, so okay. we'll show you the avocado soup or avocado <laughs> chicken, chicken salad. salad when we come back and. Uh, uh, this is a, you're, you're good, pretty good. I want, I want to, see, before we leave though, I want you to chop some of that. Yeah, parsley. you want him to do it yeah, right now? Yeah, let me see your knife. Skills. Go ahead, yeah. move that over there and yeah. do your, uh, let's see how good you are with this knife. There. Now, yeah. Kevin, he's a chef in his own mind anyway. Well, he's got it down, Kevin. He's got that, you yeah. know, that's, that's a, yeah. You watch that cooking that's channel and learn that, or did you learn that at the school? I learned it on my own time. Oh, yeah? You're, you're really good with that. I like that. I can't do that yet. I keep trying. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, all right, we're going to take a quick break. When we yeah. come back, we'll show this. But check out the Young Chefs Academy. If you've got a kid out there who wants something to do, youngchefsacademy.com is the easy way up on Route 7. Stay with us. We'll show you this salad. And we've got some great entertainment to go along with it while we eat the salad. So stay with us. We'll be right back right after this.